Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful wave text gradient effect. A mod full to say, but super easy to do. Let's start with our first wave. To keep track of symmetry, I'm first setting up my grid in settings. I'm just going to stick with the default perpendicular grid, because ultimately the spacing and angle don't really matter. What matters are the numbers of units. So with the pen tool, I'm first defining the length of my wave. And then with the node tool, I'm adding an extra node every four units. One, two, three, node, one, two, three, node, and so on. At the end, I make sure to extend my line, just so that the last segment is also four units. Now using the node tool again, I'm pulling each second node three units up to create this zigzag pattern. Here's where the magic happens. Double tap on all your nodes to change them from angular to curved. You will notice that I also pulled on the handles of some of the nodes, but not all. That's entirely up to you if you want to do it. You can design your wave in your own unique way. Here's what I'm working with. And here's the money shot. With the duplicate mode on, I simply pull down on my wave and place it just underneath. Then from the range tab, I tap on duplicate and transform again a bunch of times. Until I fill up my entire screen. I love this part. Our wave basically creates itself. To give it a cool gradient, we need to transform the pad into an outline, which we do in the pad tab here. Now time to play with colors. With all these three shades, I made a gradient that starts and ends with purple. I grouped all my shapes together. And after you do that, you can continue playing with orientation, size, anything you want that fits your particular text. Make sure you pick a chunky typeface. Plus, I recommend a bold font. My choice for this video is Futura, but there's a lot of options to choose from. And I'm just going to write the word WAVE in capitals. This can be like a logo for a surfing company or something like that. Now place your text in the middle so the waves cover it completely. I definitely like it more without a stroke. And then select board and mask. Here's the result. I think it's a really groovy logo idea that you can do in just a few minutes. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out our other tutorials, like, comment, subscribe, the works. See you next time.